Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be building a Christmas tree. It starts off with some pine boards that I sanded down on both sides. I then take it to the compound miter saw and start cutting my lengths. Next I set up a stop block so I can cut the sides of the bottom shelf easily and quickly. And as you can see, once I get this all set up, it's pretty easy to just go ahead and rip a bunch of them out. In this build today, we'll be making four of them. Uh, I'll build one at the end, but I'm cutting out a bunch of wood for that. And as you see that stop block, all I have to do is move the board down and just cut away. And it's a perfect size and they all match. Next, I'll take out my tool to measure the angle of the blade which I will set the blade to 25 degrees, but it's 25 degrees minus 90, so you want to set your tool to 65 degrees. And then I will make my initial cut, and then I'll flip the board over, and I'll take a measurement for the shelf. These are the shelves that are going to go on top of the kind of side supports. And then once I have my mark, I'll go ahead and make another cut. And I found it easier just to measure each one of them out. Um, with four builds, you're only making a, uh, a few of them. So Here I'm making another stop lock using a scrap piece of wood. What I'm doing is cutting a reverse bevel into that and then what I'll do is use my Craig jig to make a couple pocket holes into a 2x4 and then I'll screw that to the scrap piece of wood and then I'll clamp that to my fence this helps a lot when bringing down the board that has the angle already cut in there to kind of lock it in place. Um, these are for the side pieces. They're going to be six side pieces for every build. Um, so these are going to be very repetitious and will uh, benefit from this stop lock here. Here I'm adjusting the saw to a 30 degree bevel now and using the same tool I had in the past shot. Uh, so 30 from 90 is a 60 degrees. I always unplug the saw when I'm working close to the blade or measuring things out. And then I put on my safety glasses and I put on my hearing protection. Here I'm cutting the boards for the top. So the 30 degree bevel is for the top of the tree. It's uh, all the rest of the tree is at a 25 degree and then a top is a 30 degree. Here's all the boards that I've cut out, and as I make them, I stack them up with each other and keep them organized. That way, when I go to build a tree, I can just pull out from my stack and then go ahead and do it. Here, I'm test fitting a tree to make sure everything lines up and I got all the correct pieces. Once I do, I will go ahead and organize my workspace and then start gluing up everything uh, and then use a 18 gauge brad nailer that you see there to secure everything to uh, each other while the glue dries. Okay, now I'll take that brad nailer and I'll go ahead and tack it in. So when I'm doing this, I'll lift my fingers away to make sure that the brad nails don't kind of stray out or wander out of the wood into my fingers and then I'll repeat the same thing on the next side here and tack those in place. Once the glue dries it'll be very strong. This is basically just to hold the build together as you build it. I'll go ahead and put some glue on top now. This is the top shelf or the top of the bottom shelf which is pretty much the foundation of the entire tree. So I'll take my finger and I'll spread out the glue to make sure I get a good uh, fit. I'll go ahead and look at the piece of wood that I'm laying down there and see what I want to, uh, which way I want it to go to face the front and which one to face the back. I kind of measure this with feel uh, in my eye, just kind of look at it, and then I'll go ahead and tack that in place. So I'm doing two nails on each side, and then I'll do three nails in the back. Okay, so that's done now. I'll start to attach the sides. 
these are the ones that we made with the second jig on the miter saw. So there's going to be six of these that are going to be uh, glued and nailed up the side of the tree. I'll go ahead and attach those. And then I will start to go and get the next, uh, next shelf and kind of build the tree up. So here I'm tacking in that next shelf two nails on each side so what I do here is take a little bit of time to make sure I don't uh, come through the board uh, so I kind of measure it off a little bit and kind of err on the side of caution and then I'll attach the next sides again uh, flipping them around making sure that they line up and making sure that they're even with the bottom and then I'll go ahead and tack those in place Okay, now comes the third shelf, same as the second and the first, and just tack those in place, and we should be good to go. Okay, so this is the last set of sides now. We'll put this on. Uh, you'll see me tack this in. And then we'll go ahead and work on the top of the tree here in a moment. Okay, here I like to lay it out, the top of the tree, and just make sure I have an idea of how the top's going to go together. It's a little deceiving because the shorter board is actually on the bottom there. Um, and then you take the other two boards and you uh, tack them in and kind of match them up. So one will actually be the top of the tree and then the second one will kind of go into the side of the board. So you're not going to line them up one by one. And then tack those all and make them together and that way your tree is just about completed. What I like to do then is kind of check over the tree and wipe up any excess glue. Next to add stability and also a place to hang the tree on your wall, we'll cut out a couple pieces of uh, plywood to act as a backer to the tree. Here I'm taking a pencil and drawing an outline where I will take the jigsaw to cut. And then I'll do it on the first shelf, and then I do it on the third shelf up. So once I have all my markings, I will go ahead and grab my jigsaw and cut this out roughly. And then um, I'll take it over to my miter saw and I'll clean up the edges. Okay, now that we have those cut out, here I'm taking them to the miter saw and just cleaning up the edges. The boards are small enough where my sliding miter saw will be able to uh, make the cuts which I need. You can also use your table saw or you can also use the jigsaw and just follow the lines as well. Okay, here I'm going to take the top of the plywood and I've already put some glue down and spread it out. And then I'll take the brad nailer and then I'll come by and just pop a couple nails into uh, each side of the, the plywood. Okay, once that's done, I'll start on the lower part and then do the same thing put some glue down and then I also will just tack it in with using a couple brad nails as well. Now your shelf is done and you can pretty much finish it however you want. Here I used a white paint and then I took these uh, second hand uh, drawer pulls uh, I'll screw in the screws in the back and then I'll attach the drawer pulls to the front 
and that way you can hang some stockings or you can hang some lights or you can hang something else from the front of it. It also gives the build a little bit of character. I hope you liked the build today and if you did please like and subscribe and we'll have some more builds coming up in a little bit. Thank you and have a great day.